All right, guys, welcome back to another election prediction. This time we have President Joe Biden versus conspiracy theorist Mike Lindell. Uh, he pretty much thinks the election was uh, taken from Donald Trump. So he's definitely going to, that's definitely going to hurt him in a lot of the swing states in general, because we saw in the 2022 midterms where election deniers in swing states and in swing districts pretty much lost across the board, basically. They didn't really do that well. So, let me just get into this. West Virginia, Kentucky, no matter what, these will pretty much always vote for the Republicans. Tennessee as well, Alabama, Arkansas, Louisiana, North Dakota, South Dakota. Okay, I think we could start now getting on to the likely states. So, the first state I'm going to be putting as likely. Probably, hmm... Would Missouri go to likely? That's a good question. I think it just goes a little bit over 10% for Mike Lindell. It's a pretty solidly red state at this point. So Same with Indiana as well. It just barely goes over 10% for Mike Lindell, even though Trump won these both by 18 and 20 points around there. Montana definitely goes down to likely. He only wins it by like 8%. Same with Kansas. Goes only to Lindell by about 9, I would say. So, it would definitely go into the likely column. Uh, Nebraska. Well, Nebraska at large will go solid. Save from Nebraska's third. It's a very rural district. Well, Nebraska's first district, I'll put as about likely, I would say. Well, Nebraska's second probably goes likely for Joe Biden. Because that's a uh, Biden plus four district. It's a very moderate district, and someone as extreme as Mike Lindell wouldn't perform that well there. Um, Mississippi and South Carolina will definitely dip down to likely states, but Lindell still carries them. Well, Alaska, hmm, it just barely goes to him by a likely margin, only by about 6%, because Alaska is trending Democratic over time. I mean, Biden only lost his state in, by 10 points in 2020, and Democrats won a House seat here, and uh, yeah, the state's slowly turning around, and it's becoming more Democratic over time. The state of Iowa, honestly, even with Mike Lindell, someone as crazy as him, I think he would still... Hmm, just barely win it by a likely margin, like 5.1%. He barely carries it. Just because I think most Republicans are going to win this state by over 10% nowadays. So I'm putting it just barely. Well, let's just say it goes down. I think it might just go to 4.5%. I'm rethinking it. Because we have to factor in independence. They might break towards Biden because of how nuts Mike Lindell is. But still, Republicans have a very large advantage in this state. So it's a lean Republican state for Lindell here. Lindell's home state of Minnesota, Biden would crush him here, win it by over 10%, improving on his margin here. Uh, in New England, New Hampshire, and Maine would go to Biden by like just overwhelming margins, over 10%. Even Maine's second is see flipping for Biden by about 2% against Mike Lindell because of how extreme he is. Michigan and Pennsylvania, likely states. Even the state of Wisconsin, I think, would be likely. I just, well, Wisconsin... I mean, you could argue that Tim Mitchells was a... Yeah, he was an election denier. So maybe Lindell could hold it down here, but I still think he'd lose by, like, four points in the state of Wisconsin. And PA and Michigan also would reject him by a likely margin. All right, the state of Texas... We'll actually come back to them a bit later. Florida, it'll probably go to Lindell by a lean margin because Florida just really isn't that much of a swing state anymore. I think overall we're probably going to see it go to... Trump or DeSantis by over 10 or just barely, just likely by 8 or 9. But I think with Lindell, he's a pretty weak candidate, but he'd still be able to win the state of Florida. State of Georgia. Georgia, I see going to Biden by a likely margin. Same with North Carolina. I just think Lindell's get crushed here among independent voters, especially in Georgia, which would just get even more blue because of Lindell. The state of Ohio. Now, even though he's a terrible candidate, I still think he'd be able to pull off a victory in Ohio. Even though he might lose independence here, I just think Republicans have a very big partisan advantage in Ohio. They have a lot more Republican, just Republican people who are registered to the party than Democrats do. And maybe independents break for Biden here. They probably will. But it wouldn't be enough to prevent Liddell from winning here by about 2%. Still, that's minus six here in the state of Ohio for Lindell. He still underperforms a lot. Well, Arizona, Nevada. Arizona, I think Biden would win it by a likely margin against Lindell. And Nevada, probably by about 
two percent against Lindell. Again, he would lose mainly because independents are just normie independents and normie Democrats really are just yeah. Just people who really don't want to deal with election deniers anymore. I just think Lindell would just get crushed here, especially with all the extreme views he peddles as well. I just think we learned from this election that Arizona really does not like extremist politicians. They like more moderate ones. The state of Texas, it honestly, Biden would be able to flip it if it's Lindell as a nominee. He would probably win this state by about 1.5% against Lindell mainly due to independence probably breaking Biden's way in the state of Texas. So that's my election prediction. It was Joe Biden versus Mike Lindell. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments below. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.